Welcome to an awe-inspiring journey as we delve into the mysteries of life here on Earth and embark on an exhilarating quest to uncover the secrets of life beyond our home planet. From the fascinating diversity of life forms that call Earth their home, to the tantalizing possibilities of life lurking within the corners of our very own solar system. This show will take you on a captivating exploration that bridges the realms of science, imagination, and discovery. Our journey begins here, in Patterson, New Jersey, a city that pulsates with the vibrant energy of a melting pot, where cultures collide and creativity flourishes along with the roaring cascade of the Great Falls. Patterson boasts a diverse population, reflecting a rich tapestry of ethnicities and backgrounds. Over 150,000 people contribute to this thriving ecosystem. But why Patterson? And how did this all begin? The Passaic River cascades over a 77-foot drop, providing a natural energy source to harness the power of early industrial machinery. The combination of the Great Falls hydropower and the strategic location of Patterson along major transportation routes, including rivers and canals, made it an ideal place for industrial development. The industrialization fueled by the Great Falls created jobs and economic opportunities, attracting growing population of workers to the area. People moved to Patterson in search of employment in the factories and mills, which led to the development of housing, services, and infrastructure to support the growing city. However, before people, Patterson and New Jersey were rich with abundant, diverse life. Garrett Mountain Reservation, located in northern New Jersey, offers a tranquil, natural escape with scenic overlook that provides breathtaking views of the vibrant city of Patterson below. This picturesque park is a popular destination for hiking, picnicking, and enjoying panoramic vistas of Patterson and the surrounding landscape. Garrett Mountain Reservation and the surrounding area in northern New Jersey provide a habitat for various wildlife species. These animals are adapted to the diverse ecosystems present in the park, which include woodlands and open spaces, bodies of water, making Garrett Mountain Reservation a suitable environment for a variety of wildlife species. But life is thought to have originated in aquatic environments, likely in the form of simple microorganisms before eventually diversifying and evolving into more complex life forms over billions of years. According to the fossil record and scientific evidence, life on Earth is believed to have originated in the oceans. The oldest known fossils dating back approximately 3.5 to 3.8 billion years, primarily cyanobacteria, and they provide some of the earliest direct evidence of life on our planet. These ancient microorganisms lived in the shallow waters of ancient oceans and played a significant role in shaping Earth's early environment by releasing oxygen through photosynthesis. So let's find the water. Finding water here on Earth is fairly easy. The planet is covered in over 70% of it. This land and these oceans are teeming with life. Our travels bring us west from Patterson, New Jersey, towards Meteor Crater. See, the origin of water on Earth is a complex and long-standing scientific question. There are several theories regarding the source of Earth's water, but one prevailing hypothesis is that it came from both within our planet and from external sources. Internally, could water be a byproduct of chemical processes of an immature planet which a hydrogen-rich atmosphere mixing with massive oceans of magma? Or is it something else? Externally, like cometary impacts during the early stages of Earth's formation, delivered additional water to the planet. This theory suggests that water was brought to Earth by cometary collisions after the planet had already formed. Could this mean there is more water outside of our own planet, with its own abundance of life? Meteor Crater, also known as Barringer Crater, is a remarkable geological feature located near Winslow, Arizona. This stunning site was formed approximately 50,000 years ago when a nickel-iron meteorite about 160 feet in diameter collided with Earth at an estimated speed of 26,000 miles per hour. The impact created a massive bowl-shaped crater nearly 4,000 feet in diameter and 570 feet deep making it one of the best preserved impact craters on Earth. 
Could this be how our water came to Earth? Earth's surface tends to be fairly new, as weathering and plate tectonics tend to erase all history of geological events. But space is cold. Much too cold to maintain liquid oceans like the ones we find on Earth. Our place in the solar system is special because it allows for liquid water and life to persist. But there are some areas on Earth that are not too friendly and way too harsh for most organisms to live. Organisms that on, not only tolerate but thrive in these environments are called extremophiles. In 1960, scientist Thomas Brock discovered high temperature bacteria living in Yellowstone National Park. He called these organisms Thermus aquaticus. We call them thermophiles. Thermophiles are microorganisms capable of thriving in extremely high temperatures environments, often exceeding 122 degrees Fahrenheit or more. Thermophiles are responsible for the dazzling array of colors seen in the microbial mats of the geothermal pools at Yellowstone's prismatic springs. Thermophiles are heat-loving microorganisms play a fascinating role in the geothermal wonders of Yellowstone National Park, including here in Obsidian Lake. These extremophiles thrive in the scalding waters of Yellowstone's hot springs and contribute to the unique and striking contrast with the dark obsidian rocks that surround the lake. Here, we are traveling to Great Salt Lake, Utah. This is the largest saltwater lake in the Western Hemisphere and is renowned for its high salinity, even saltier than the oceans. Halophiles, which are salt-loving microorganisms, thrive in this extreme environment. These microorganisms, including bacteria and algae, have adapted to the lake's briny waters and contribute to its unique ecosystem, playing a crucial role in the lake's ecology and influencing its distinctive chemistry and biology. As we travel further west, we reach Mendenhall Glacier in Alaska, which is a stunning river of ice located near Juneau, renowned for its breathtaking blue ice caves and dramatic glacial landscape. In this extreme cold of the glacier, psychrophiles, or cold-loving microorganisms, thrive. These hardy microorganisms have adapted to the frigid temperatures and harsh conditions of the glacier, where they play a crucial role in the glacier's ecosystem by participating in nutrient cycling and influencing its icy environment. Studying the remarkable extremophiles thriving in Earth's harshest environments not only deepens our understanding of life's tenacity on our own home planet, but also serves as a tantalizing roadmap for the search for life beyond. We embark on the search for extraterrestrial life by exploring celestial bodies, analyzing their environments for signs of habitability, and employing advanced technologies to detect potential biosignatures. As we leave Alaska, we head to Mauna Kea, located in Hawaii. Mauna Kea is a dormant volcano and the highest peak in the state, rising approximately 13,800 feet above sea level. Mauna Kea stands at an impressive overall height of 33,500 feet from its base on the ocean floor to its summit above sea level. Its summit is critically important for astronomy, hosting world-renowned observatories due to its high altitude clear skies and minimal light pollution, making it an ideal location for studying celestial phenomena and expanding our understanding of the universe. It is here that we begin our journey to explore life. And here, hold on to your seats as we prepare to leave the comfort of our own home world. We embark on a mission rooted in scientific data observations and continued exploration. We will look for signs of life or past life or maybe the presence of water in search of an answer to the question, are we alone? We'll begin our interplanetary journey to an outside world whose inhabitants are all robots. The history of exploration on Mars dates back to the ancient civilizations observing the red planet's movements in the night sky. In the modern era, robotic missions have been a crucial part of the Martian exploration, starting with NASA's Mariner program in the 1960s and culminating in the successful landing of rovers, like Curiosity and Perseverance, 
which have provided invaluable data about the planet's geology, climate, and potential habitability. These missions have paved the way for future human exploration and have fueled ongoing efforts to search for signs of past or present life on Mars. We come across Olympus Mons. Olympus Mons, often dubbed the Mighty Martian Mountain, it's the largest volcano and planetary mountain in our solar system. With its staggering height of nearly 72,000 feet, formed by centuries of volcanic activity, this Martian giant is so massive that it would stretch across the entire state of Arizona if it were placed on Earth. And its immensity has captured the imagination of space enthusiasts and scientists alike, serving as a testament to the geological wonders that await us in our quest to understand the mysteries of the Red Planet. If Mars ever hosts an interplanetary tourism industry, Mariner Valley is sure to be on every adventurer's must-see list, offering a view of alien grandeur that's out of this world. Valle Marineris, known as the Grand Canyon of Mars, is a colossal canyon system on the Red Planet that puts our earthly canyons to shame. Stretching for over 2,500 miles and plunging to depths of over 4 miles in some places, making it one of the deepest canyons in the solar system. As we continue our eastward travel, we continue along the path of Mariner Valley, which spans roughly 20% of the planet's circumference. As we continue our tour of Mars, we now come across Gale Crater, which holds immense historical significance in the planetary science and studies of the Red Planet. Its selection as the landing site for the Curiosity rover in 2012 marked a pioneering step in the exploration of the Martian surface, as Curiosity has since provided valuable data on the planet's geology, climate history, and potential habitability of ancient Martian environments. The discovery of an ancient lake bed within Gale Crater has reshaped our understanding of Mars, supporting the idea that liquid water existed on the planet's surface in the past bolstering the case for the possibility of past microbial life on the Red Planet. Mars is indeed just the beginning of our quest to search for past life beyond Earth. The knowledge gained from Mars exploration has not only advanced our understanding of planetary habitability, but also inspired the exploration of other celestial bodies, particularly the icy moons of Jupiter. The Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer JUICE mission is an ESA spacecraft designed to study Jupiter's icy moons, particularly Ganymede, Europa, and Callisto. Launched in April 2023, JUICE will spend several years in the Jovian system, conducting detailed observations of these moons, their subsurface oceans, and their interactions with Jupiter's magnetic field and radiation. It aims to understand the potential habitability of these icy worlds, shedding light on their geological history and the possibility of finding life beyond Earth within our own solar system. As we continue our journey into the unknown, let the possibility of life beyond our planet inspire us to explore, discover, and unite in our shared pursuit of knowledge. This is life, looking in to the farthest expanse.